How are you involved, Do you know? Why, why Slut Walk? Is that what I heard about the Slut Walk event through um, some of my friends in the community. Um, a lot of them very sex positive, uh, very open, uh, at times polyamorous perhaps, but uh, that didn't really strike me as the core purpose of the Slut Walk event. Uh, I feel like the name is meant to attract attention, uh, especially if those aren't uh, familiar with the mission statement. It kind of draws, draws a lot of attention. So, uh, for me, the Slut Walk mission statement really is, is self-apparent in that we are uh, going out in celebration of uh, individual human sexuality, sort of in defiance uh, against the antiquated sort of perspectives on uh, what is appropriate in terms of self-expression and identity. And with sexuality being such a major component of the human experience, it is important, I feel, to dispel a lot of uh, aggressive attitudes and, and uh, really help people that uh, have suffered sexual abuse or rape really come out of some of the um, uh, limitations that that, that implies. Uh, people that have survived abuse or been close to it, or abusers, in fact, as well, often shy away from intimacy. They have self-esteem issues. They're uh, much more ashamed and unable to really flourish as human beings. And uh, sexual abuse of any kind, whether it's uh, unwanted advance uh, toward a stripper in a club or, or, or something more graphic or uh, atrocious like a rape situation, will have uh, long-term results. And, uh, 100 years ago, if a woman were to be raped, it would be her fault for being in a saloon, for perhaps wearing a little too much blush, and, uh, and all credit was given to uh, the abuser or attacker. That's completely uh, terrible. Um, it really hinders a lot of personal development. And, and as humans, being relatively social by nature, uh, we, we shouldn't really be hindering our impulses and our, ourselves, but rather helping to bring those aspects of each individual that we encounter out. And the Slut Walk is in part a celebration of uh, personal freedom, sexual choice, um, predominantly uh, in the face of that sort of oppressive element of expectation and cultural relativism. Because while we have all of the amenities of the first world country in the 21st century with our cell phones and Facebook, in other parts of the world it's still very tribal and village based. And, and at the core, our, our interactions all seem to be very. Um, universal. Uh, very few things change on the planet, except for perhaps art and science. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so to me, it, it was important to come and be uh, supportive of my community, um, surrounded by a lot of, like I mentioned, sex positive, uh, queer friendly, uh, and just people that have gone through those emotional um, uh, uphill battles and, and come out with a more sort of perspective where they can go that, and reach out to people who have who have suffered a lot of uh, struggle, uh, whether imposed on them or otherwise through uh, instances of abuse. Yeah. So what would you uh, what would you hope that non-participants, I guess, would take away from the, this, this event, this, this lot one? Very much as with um, presentations related to sexual uh, assault or abuse. Uh, or injustice that I've been involved with in the past. I feel like the Portland Slut Walk, being the first inaugural year for the event, uh, is sort of following in the tailcoats on a, on a much larger uh, social movement. Uh, some of these events happening in Canada and then throughout the continent of the U.S. and elsewhere in the world as well. I feel like globally, uh, as a people, we are starting to uh, shift our value systems with relation to that which we see uh, other people experiencing. Uh, whether they're the same silly issues like abortion and gay marriage that people want to bicker about, the human experience is, is very universal and accessible and transcends cultures and, and regions. So uh, by the slut walk occurring in Portland and gaining some exposure, I would hope that people would have attention called to it and then see it to take the time to really explore what it's about and then just take a moment to reflect on how much um, sexual abuse really occurs just under the radar. It's not all rape whatsoever. It's, it's attitudes, it's sneers, it's whistles, it's unwanted attention, it's uh, uh, schoolyard uh, bickering and, and all these things really uh, affect humans uh, emotionally in a very uh, deep way. So.
the more we can do to be supportive of each other, the better able we will be able to just collaborate uh, and, and function as humans. Oh, I'm losing my train of thought. <laughs> I feel like that's a good chunk of, we got some pretty, uh, Information rich stuff. It's funny because despite people's age and experience, um, people might experience abuse early in life and then become abusers and then later on uh, have a born again experience or something where they become compassionate towards each other. And that's really at the core of something like like this event. The compassion we feel toward others versus um, a sort of uh, egocentric perspective. Uh, where we don't consider the rights of somebody else not to be abused. That our actions will necessarily affect uh, those that we interact with, and uh, we need to take some responsibility for that. And to not have a compassionate perspective will always cause uh, damage in the world. And I feel like this is an opportunity for people who see through those uh, antiquated habits, uh, so to speak. I can't say antiquated. It's, yeah. it's different every year, but. Um, but definitely, I feel like more harm is going to be done by not doing something like this than going out and celebrating and having a fun time and really making it clear that it's much more important than just um, young people wanting to go and express themselves, you know, their sexuality or individuality. It's, it's really not about that at all. It's about celebrating hum you know, the human experience and that very essential part of it. Uh, you know, sex and love has always been deemed extraordinarily sacred. Um, no matter what religion or culture you're from, and uh, to, to cause harm rather than to show love. Uh, I think it was um, uh, one of the civil rights um, activists from the 60s, um, Cornell West or something, oh, yeah. said, uh, I forget the quote, um, that uh, tenderness is the expression of love in private, justice is the expression of love in public. Mm -hmm. And this sort of event is taking an issue that many people keep private, their own internal struggle with sexuality or abuses that they've experienced, and, and making it uh, a public forum to, to help uh, improve, improve all of our qualities of life. We would be happier people if we didn't have so much um, self um, uh, deprivation, self doubt, self -help. things that cause us to hesitate and just feel shame and negative attitude and feelings towards something that should really be. A happy thing, so yeah, a bunch of happy people standing up against harm, I guess. <laughs> that's cool. So, um, I, th I mean, I think that's really, really good for that for you, at least for now. Is there, is there someone else around you wanted to? Yeah. Any one of these folks will do. <laughs>